driver got on several freeways this morning, reaching speeds of up to 100 miles an hour at one point and sideswiping some cars as well. That all came to an end at an Arco gas station in the 500 block of North Mollison Avenue in El Cajon. And that's where we find News 8's Chris Crow. Chris, you also got a hold of some surveillance video from the gas station kind of showing the end of this, right? And a lot of people wanting to know how this started. That surveillance video giving us a good angle at how it ended. I want to show to you, though, some of the remnants that are still here at the gas station. You see those skid marks from the truck there, the SUV, that same SUV now being towed away. But again, let's show you that surveillance video again. That camera right there on top of the Arco showing just how dangerously close this white SUV that this suspect was driving through the East County came to hitting someone. It came to a stop next to that red sedan that you see right there in that video. He then immediately hits the gas when he sees the cops right behind him and squeezes between the car and the gas station. One angle shows the sparks flying underneath his vehicle. Again, something that could be extremely dangerous here at a gas station. And then he eventually stopped and cops were able to arrest him at gunpoint. Now, so now as for how this all started, very limited information right now. San Diego Police Department says they got a call after 7 a.m. for reports of a domestic violence incident. A man was seen near City Heights. Uh, allegedly, uh, they said the people on the call that he was threatening someone with a gun. When cops were arriving, that man, the man that then later we got into this SUV, he drove off. What happened next was a chase that took off east on multiple freeways. Again, the driver was clocked as high as 100 miles per hour, hit multiple cars during this chase, including that red sedan, which belonged to a woman who's only going by Jean. But as you saw earlier, could have been so much worse had it actually came in on any other side or maybe even hit that red sedan. Take a listen to her reaction. They all ran that way. There must have been six, seven of them. And they just dragged him out of the car. And once he got him out, he wasn't fighting, I don't think. I was hiding. <laughs> but I, really, I was going to get in my car and move it. But I chickened out, and then all I thought of was guns. And again, after watching that video back and forth time and time again, specifically from that angle just above the Arco station shop, you can exactly see again how close that this man came to potentially hurting more people. Again, thankfully, though, we're hearing no reports of any injuries during this chase. As soon as we do have more information about who this person was that police were chasing and eventually did take into custody. Again, we'll be sure to let you know, including all of the potential charges that man could be facing. Reporting in El Cajon, I'm Chris Groh for News 8.